All right, using custom search with Screaming Frog. So this is a really cool feature, has a number of great uses, and we even have a demo later on, on one of them. But uh, essentially what we're gonna do before the spider crawls is set some search parameters and get some reporting back based on that from Screaming Frog. So uh, let's just do like a hypothetical situation here where maybe our company has moved from one city to another and we want to find all the mentions of the city that we're currently in before we move so that we can update all those pages as we move to the new city. So um, we're going to go to custom search and we're going to find all pages which contain and in this particular example I'm going to use Asheville and it's going to search the entire HTML of the page for this particular keyword and I'm going to say OK and we'll go ahead and start our crawl and the crawler is going to take a minute or so to get through all of the pages. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to jump over to the custom tab, which is where our data is going to come back to us. And it's going to bring back all of the different, based on that filter I set, contains Asheville, which now appears within the filters, bring back all the pages that actually use the word Asheville on it. So this would be useful in an example where maybe we're moving from Asheville to San Francisco. We know that all these pages we need to update. Now some other examples would be if maybe if you're renaming a product on an e-commerce site and you know that you've mentioned it a million times throughout other content, you may want to search for that product name. Um, it could be used in the example we're going to show later um, just to identify um, you know, if Google Analytics tracking code is put on each page, so we could actually just return all the pages that have that. So number of uses for it, up to your creativity, but as things to keep in mind here is whatever keyword or, or piece of code that you use, uh, Screaming Frog's basically going to search through the HTML of each page and look for it. And if it finds it, um, then it'll appear here within that particular filter. Um, you can set multiple filters at the same time, so you know, we could have done contains Asheville or contains North Carolina or, you know, a couple of other ones at once just to be a little more efficient. But um, that's generally how they work. Um, then again, that's in configuration, custom, and search. Um, one last thing to mention is that uh, both contains and does not contain. So if a page is missing a certain piece of information, you could apply the same type of filter.